Shadow Divers, 2004, recounts the captivating true story of two men's relentless quest spanning eight years to uncover the enigmatic identity of a World War II U-boat resting at the bottom of the ocean off the coast of New Jersey. Author Robert Curson skillfully employs the techniques of a gripping thriller, entwining mystery and suspense, while providing a deep exploration of the complexities and immense perils of deep-sea diving. Additionally, Curson delves into the historical backdrop surrounding the sunken wreck, offering readers a comprehensive understanding of its significance. Curson's extensive research played a pivotal role in the PBS Nova episode dedicated to the discovery of the U-boat. In 1991, a small group of passionate deep-sea diving enthusiasts, led by experienced diver Bill Nagel, stumbled upon an unidentified object resting 230 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean near Brielle, New Jersey. Despite the seeming improbability, this object turned out to be the wreckage of a German U-boat from World War II. Although historical records indicated no presence of an undersea boat so close to American shores, hundreds of these submarines patrolled the treacherous waters of the Atlantic during the war, employing their stealthy and lethal tactics. The type of diving required to explore this remarkable find, now known as technical diving, was still in its early stages. The divers relied on outdated equipment and pieced together their knowledge of the dangers they would encounter through a combination of first-hand experiences, information shared by the Navy, and a combination of audacity and trial and error. The perils associated with venturing to such depths in the water are manifold. Even if everything goes perfectly, spending a mere 20 minutes at a depth of 200 feet necessitates an hour-long ascent to the surface followed by several additional hours of decompression at sea level before the divers can safely dive again. The narrative skillfully captures the multi-layered risks these divers faced, painting a vivid picture of their arduous journey and the intricacies of their extraordinary endeavor. Shadow Divers offers a fascinating blend of historical context, heart-pounding adventure, and the indomitable human spirit, leaving readers captivated by this extraordinary tale of exploration and discovery. Underwater diving poses numerous risks, with one of the most significant dangers being nitrogen narcosis, a disorienting and panic-inducing state caused by breathing highly pressurized air. This condition can impair the judgment of even the most experienced divers, leading to incorrect and life-threatening decisions. Adding to the list of potential disasters was the unique challenge presented by the U-boat wreck itself, almost complete visibility loss. The divers embarked on the task of identifying the boat but were hindered by the absence of visible markings or insignia on its exterior. Seeking answers, the group reached out to officials from both the U.S. Navy and German Navy, only to be informed that, based on available records, the closest U-boats would have been located hundreds of miles away. Frustrated by the lack of information, concerned about the inherent dangers, and reluctant to dedicate their lives solely to this one wreck, most of the group members chose to quit. Ultimately, only two individuals remained consumed by an unyielding determination to uncover the true identity, sinking date, and those who perished aboard the U-boat, John Chatterton and Richie Kohler, the central figures in Curson's narrative. The book delves into the biographies of these two men, whose approaches and perspectives often diverged. Growing up during the Vietnam War, neither pursued higher education, yet they shared a profound connection to the sea. Chatterton, methodical and cautious, contrasted with Kohler, a member of the notorious Atlantic Wreck Divers team known for their adventurous and daring approach to wreck retrieval. Despite their initial reservations about collaborating, they soon realized that their shared passion for knowledge and the desire to rectify historical inaccuracies superseded any pursuit of monetary gain or fame. Together, they assembled a new team, united by a common purpose, to continue their quest and shed light on the untold story. Shadow Divers intricately explores the dynamics between these two individuals, their contrasting styles, and their shared dedication to uncovering the truth. Their partnership emerges from a mutual quest for historical accuracy and a profound thirst for knowledge, propelling them forward in their extraordinary endeavor. Driven by the desire to provide closure to the families of the U-boat sailors and inform them of their loved one's fate, Chatterton and Kohler embarked on an arduous eight-year journey from 1991 to 1997. They dived repeatedly to the sunken U-boat, hoping to recover any item bearing its name or number. 
They traveled to Germany to interview individuals with knowledge of the U-boat program, meticulously combed through the United States Naval Archives in Washington, D.C., and engaged in countless discussions exploring various possibilities. The book poignantly portrays the toll this obsessive pursuit took on their lives. Both men experienced the dissolution of their marriages, and tragically, three members of their diving team, Steve Feldman, Chris Rouse, Sr., and Chris Rouse, Jr., lost their lives in the quest for the U-boat's identity. Some reviewers question whether Curson may have been lenient towards Chatterton and Kohler, considering their influential role in the book. Despite the mistakes they made and the relationships they shattered along the way, the narrative consistently portrays them as dedicated and misunderstood rather than single-minded and potentially reckless. Ultimately, they do succeed in uncovering the U-boat's identity as U-896, which sank in 1945, likely due to a boomeranging torpedo that exploded on impact. To emphasize the closure this revelation brings to the families affected, the book concludes with a couple of chapters set in 1944, narrating the U-boat story from the perspective of the sailors aboard. This fictionalized section has drawn considerable criticism from reviewers, as Curson omits the fact that these individuals were part of the Nazi army and instead focuses on the pathos of men doomed to their fate. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.